Hey, everybody, this is probably one of the most absolute, the most, the single one, most absolute, bizarre, and yet effective, I pray, podcast that we've ever done or ever will do. And that is that we're going to address now, we're going to leave you, as it were, a time capsule that the rapture has just happened. What are you going to do now? Based on the Bible, many Christians believe and teach about a future at the end time when all believers still alive before the world's destruction will be taken into heaven by God. The term describing this event is rapture. Although the term rapture is not found in the Bible, the theory of rapture is firmly built on the foundation of the Bible itself. Those who accept a rapture theory believe that all unbelievers will be left behind during the tribulation period on earth. Most Bible scholars agree that the tribulation period will last for seven years, which are the final years of this age, until Christ returns to establish the earthly kingdom in the golden age. The most common view taught among Christians is the pre-tribulation rapture, or pre-trib theory. Those who accept this view believe that the rapture will occur immediately before the tribulation period, which is the beginning of Daniel's 70 weeks. The rapture event will mark the final seven years of this era. Believers who follow Jesus will be transformed from a physical body into a spiritual body by the rapture and taken to heaven with God. Those who do not believe will be left behind and they will have to face the intense tribulation period in which the Antichrist, the Antichrist who replaced Jesus with Satan, with the symbol 666 for a period of seven years. According to this view, unbelievers will come to accept Jesus despite the church's absence during this time, yet new Christians will endure harsh and painful persecution. Another popular view is known as the post-tribulation rapture, or post-trib theory. Those who accept this view believe that Christians will remain on earth as witnesses during the seven years of the tribulation, until the end of this age. According to this view, Christians will either be swept away or protected during the terrible wrath of God during the final seven years in the book of Revelation. A less popular view is the mid-tribulation rapture, or mid-trib theory. Those who accept this view believe that Christians will be taken from earth to heaven with God at some point during the seven-year tribulation period. How will the rapture happen? The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 that because of the rapture has taken place and you did not pay attention, you did not believe, that you are going to be deceived by your own choice and you are going to momentarily, if not soon, believe the lie. Definite article, the, and the word lie. You are going to believe a supernatural lie from Satan. And yeah, yeah, you're laughing. I'm sure you're, oh, Satan, I'm sure. Hey, listen, can I remind you, you have been fatally wrong and guilty of laughing off Jesus. And now here you are. I'm gone, we're gone, and you're still here. What do you do now? Well, the Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, and you should read it, that you had the chance to believe in the love of the truth, but you refused it. And so God is judging you by sending you strong delusion that you will believe the lie because you did not have and you did not put faith when you had the chance in Christ. Matthew chapter 24, verse 42 through 44 says, Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore, you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. The Apostle Paul reiterates these commands by telling us what it will be like when Jesus returns. He tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 17, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with him 
in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. And so, we will always be with the Lord. What we learn from this passage is that when Jesus returns, those who have died in Christ will be raised from the dead, and those that are still alive will be caught up to meet them in the clouds. This passage of Scripture in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 tells us by what method we should expect to see Christ coming. However, the question we need to be asking today, how do we know that Christ's coming is near? What are the signs we should be looking for? How do we know when it is time to prepare? And what does it mean to prepare? You're going to soon hear of breaking news of a leader, probably out of Europe. Um, someone's going to arise and they're going to have an idea on how to bring a peace treaty to Israel regarding its dilemmas and its enemies. And they're going to, they're going to have a peace treaty friends on TV soon. That's seven years long. It's a seven year long peace treaty with Israel and its enemies. This man will engineer this. And um, for the first three and a half years, starting right now, there's going to be a, a, a swell of peace and prosperity for, for three and a half years. But that peace and prosperity is laced with profound demonic deception. This man is going to swoon you into not only believing in him, but believing in him to the point that you are going to begin to think that the gods have visited us. It may be explained to you that he is some form or type of an alien being, a manifestation of the sons of God. There may be something said to you that that's who Jesus really was, was one of many enlightened ones. And now he's the newest, he's the latest and the greatest. Turn to Jesus, be prepared to die for him, read the Bible, pray for discernment, and share the news with others to make it to heaven after the rapture. The rapture has happened, and if you turn to Jesus, you may have to die for him, but don't be afraid. Your earthly body, soul, and spirit can be saved, so be careful who you talk to and what you say, but know that you have the opportunity to make it to heaven by resolving to die for Jesus and believing in the Bible. Read the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, 1 and 2 Timothy. 1 and 2 Thessalonians and the book of Revelation, specifically chapter 6 and on, to understand what to do after the rapture and embrace the will of God. Deception is coming, so give your life to Christ, pray for discernment, and share the news with others. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel to update our best videos.